wanting to say it again. It just happens. Lips for all. <laughs> I have pulled strings, massaged egos, called in favors. So we should have an answer within the next couple of days. How do you reckon it'll go? Don't get your hopes up, Alf. I don't know what happened to you, okay, or who else is involved, but I do know you're holding back on something. Mate, I meant what I said before, okay? Anything you tell me is in total confidence. It's not you tell. This isn't really working out for either of you, is it? No, no, it's not. That's why I've got to put a stop to it. Well, it's going to be hard, but it is the right thing to do. No, you got the wrong idea. I'm not going to tell her anything. But isn't that what Look, you just I meant? I just came around to ask if I could stay for a few more days. Well, of course you can stay. You know we belong together. You and I forever and ever. I don't get it. My ring keeps this place spotless. I haven't seen a single bug since I got here. Maybe they're coming to get rid of you. Who are you spying for who? Um, the exterminators between 12 and 2 today, so we have to be out. Coast, aren't you going to be late? Yeah, I was going to take the morning off. Why do we need an exterminator for? Well, that's what I said. Oh, I suppose she knows what she's doing. Hmm, maybe not delay studying, I guess so. How many more exams you got? Just two. Then my beautiful husband comes home and life will go back to normal. Well, I reckon he's a lucky one. I give anything to be in a boat right now. Swimming, fishing. Yeah, sleeping under the stars. Uh -huh. I think there's work involved, guys. Still, it's a pretty cool job. Mm. Oh, well, ten more minutes. I think it's so sweet how he calls you at the same time every day. I know, he is so sweet. Just wish I could have gone with him. How much fun would have been if I was there right now? You do, Rani, me. Oh, hi, Colin. Oh, my stars. What are you doing in that get-up? Oh, it's... So people don't recognise me at the hospital like last time. You're more likely to get arrested. You look like one of those homo boys from the Bronx. I think you mean homies. I think I know what I mean when I say it, thank you very much. <laughs> How are you feeling? Ah, uh, pretty ordinary. Poor thing. Keeping anything down? No, not a lot. I just started to feel better and now I've got to get more chemo pumped in. Would you like one of these before you go? Uh, you know, I might even be able to keep one of those down. <laughs> it's not your typical breakfast. My chemo gave me such terrible mouth ulcers. I lived on this for quite a while. <laughs> Haven't been able to stomach it since. How are you managing without Kirsty? I don't know. You must be missing her terribly. You know, when I had my time, I'd have given anything for a hug. <laughs> Of course, Leah and Sally were showering me with them, but it's it's different when it's from somebody special, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Kirst will be finished her exam soon, so get plenty of hugs then. Well, if there's anything more you need. Ah, uh, thanks, Colleen, for everything. It's been amazing. I've, I've actually got to call Kirst in a minute, so... Oh, of course, love. I'll get out of your way. Hey, how you doing, babe? I'm excellent now. Sorry, I have to take this. It's my ex. Who are you talking to there? Oh, there's a new guy in town. He's called Eduardo Berro. Eduardo Berro. He's Latino. Have I told you lately that you're an idiot? No, but I really miss hearing it. Hey, um, how'd your exams go? Okay. Yeah, yeah it went well. Are you sure? Well, there were, there were a few hairy moments, but no, I think I got, I think I got there in the end. I think it was okay. Hey, that's my girl. Well, I think Eduardo might have something to say about you calling me that. How come I get dumped for him again? Well, because he's here and you're not. Well, you just tell him that the toy store I busted him out of does do refunds. <laughs> now he's been an idiot. You make me feel better. About what? Just better. 
So what's the weather like there? Is, is it nice? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's beautiful. But listen, babe, I'm going to have to go because Smithy wants to go diving a bit deeper. Be careful, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you be careful too. Okay, I love you, babe. I love you too. So much. Oh, Princess, Hello. I wasn't expecting you until later. Couldn't wait to give you your surprise. Look, here we go. The book. It's all finished. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful, Danny. Can't wait to read it. Uh, our work isn't over yet. I, I have one more favour to ask of you. I scribbled that all out last night. I want you to type it up. I don't understand. Well, you know, I told you I had a few secrets still up my sleeve. Well, it's, they're in there. So you, you read it and then, then we'll talk. Okay. You got PE next. Self-defense. Miss Reed's going to teach us this really cool move that she reckons will stop any guy in his tracks. Should be awesome. Cool. So, um, this means you're over, Kim, then? Broken hearts don't mend overnight, you know. No. Of course. Just remember it's called self-defense, Maddie. It's going to come in very handy. What are you really up to? Kim, what? All right, what are you up to? Why does everybody always think I'm up to something? Because nine times out of ten you are, especially when you trot out that faux French innocence. There's nothing faux about my Francais, Mel. Oh, well, then you can give Robbie his third or no. You can get social suicide. I'm not his mum, Mum. <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, <laughs> if you could tell him that I ran out of tuna and not to take the sardines as a personal insult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Is that Eric Toby? Yeah. And, um, his swelling's gone down, believe it or not. You haven't seen Mr. Baker in your troubles, have you? Um, yeah, he should just be in the classroom. Oh, thanks. Uh, got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's up? I just saw Eric Dolby. His injuries are much worse than I thought. Yeah, he was uh, pretty savagely beaten. It's hard for me to show much sympathy after what he did to Henry. That's understandable. And I doubt that the kids have much compassion for him either, which has got me thinking, well, worrying. There hasn't been any more trouble between them, has there? Uh, There's nothing at all that I should know about. Oh, no, no. And they had nothing to do with his bruises. Okay. Good. Well, I'll keep an eye on them, though, just in case. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've been so busy lately with the exams and moving house, I haven't been paying as much attention. Yeah. Oh, well, at least one good thing came out of that terrible business with Henry. What's that? Oh, well, it turned him off Dolby before he could lead him into even worse strife. Yeah, I guess that's one way of looking at it. Yeah. Well, you have to wonder what happened to Dolby, you know, to make him like that, in, into such a bully. Some people say there are kids just born rotten, but... Yeah, well, Dolby is a bully and he can be rotten. But, you know, there's, they also say there's more to every story. Mm. Oh, Eric, what you heard... Yeah, stuff. Like... Hey, 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 that's enough. You too. Listen, mate, I don't care what... I'm not your mate, all right? And don't give me that, I just want to help you, Paul. I heard what you think about me. Well, you didn't hear right then. No, it's all right, Beth. I stand by when I said, yeah, you can be a bully and you are rotten. But, you know, if you drop this attitude, mate, maybe we'll get somewhere. <laughs> Dr. Duguid said I could trust you. Yeah. I think I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. Maybe you can tell about a stupid kid in the marijuana farm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Robin Feral Girl found a dope crop. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Oh, there goes any progress I made. Nothing I should know about. to say. You don't think differently of me, do you? No, no, of course not. Well, keeping a secret like that for 40 years hasn't, hasn't been easy. I can imagine. And no one else knows this. No one who's alive. Not even Mr. Stewart? Oh, especially not Mr. Stewart. Well, if he'd known things might have been different between us, would have been. I just don't feel like 
I should know this before him. You'll find out soon.